there's a lot of uh, talented poets spending their time adding that meditative purity to the world. My piece is a reminder that there are some of us who can't help but wake up and translate the world into its most crass and crude elements. Um, this is called An Ode to the Scientologist Dildo. I can taste the post-colonial, neoliberal, monocultured slave labor in my coffee this morning. And that's how I like to start my day. <laughs> Shaking my head at beggars, ignoring the sick, poor, and lonely with my headphones in because... Blignorance is yes, And the burden of Western civilization is the guilt trip virus I pass on to others with snide remarks and a vaudevillian grin. My nights are mostly sucked away in torture films and amateur porn, rubbing the sin into my eyes with dexedrine and lubricant. <laughs> Horny for the crash, a hard-on for the energy crisis. When is it finally gonna happen? This forever foreplay of the recession, the booms and bubbles and distractions. Légère de main. Because uh, like you, I'm a true player in this Ponzi scheme. I've got the full knowledge that I will in fact never collect an old age pension and retire on a happy beach because all the beaches are filled with helpless turtles covered in oil and all the white picket fences have WS spray painted in black. West side. <laughs> And beyond the fences, when I look beyond the fences, I can see people walking their 2.5 mistakes with their <laughs> streaming little eyeballs. Too stupid to know their doom crawls forward. <sighs> A pile of electronic waste heaped onto soil rich with uranium yellow cake. <laughs> and cancer. Babies lucky enough to not be born with tumors the size of siblings under a sun that used to be the center of our universe. But now all of human consciousness is just an accident of survival. Thank you for the paradigm shift, Darwin. That actually wasn't a joke there. And thank you, Queen Victoria, for filling the diamond mines with the decadence of your royal vaginal juices. And God bless George W. Bush and all the Wall Street cronies for filling every waking hour with the pain of greed's vice tightening our testicles. Because nothing feels quite as good as self-righteousness. If some wise fool tried to explain humility to me and my people well, we'd likely urinate in their mouth while humming the national anthem. I would mime that for you, but I think there's a child in the audience. <laughs> Talking heads read off teleprompters, so luckily nobody ever tries to explain anything. They just fill us with the polit politician sex scandals mixed in with a healthy dose of sports statistics and a sprinkling of the glory of our nihilistic ideologies. And look, the ravishing glow of our brave young men and women in uniform. Speaking of which, a faint memory of the Cold War ending creeps into my daydreams like the repressed nightmare of a UFO abductee. So I medicate myself with an endless streaming of BBC documentaries that remind me of how lucky I am to live in the Great Northern Hemisphere, which is close enough to Santa's workshop that Christmas spirit can actually block out the smoke and death smell of the scorched earth policy going on in the Southern Hemisphere. And... <laughs> I think if only all of that could also take that taste of sweat and broken dreams out of my coffee. Yet, today, as you can tell, I have just the right amount of cynicism and spite to write real poetry to be presented to the only people I never lie to. Can't lie to, in fact. My artsy, drunk, hipster audience of pretentious heathens. <laughs> the last poet... I believe to be caught lying was either thoroughly ignored or ripped to shreds by the harpy gorgon claws of you bacchanites. 
But don't worry, I'll save my fake smiles for the uneducated vermin. Wouldn't you agree that they are all on their somber way to their own mother's funeral, pulling down cuffs to hide the shackles, spitting on hippies, kicking puppies, and pepper spraying protesters. When finally they get to the tomb, they lay down such a relic as the Scientologist dildo. A synthetic replica of Tom Cruise's member with the inscription, forever and always the Cockmaster. This, of course, is the same world where Korean filmmakers animate crying doggy poo to stink pull your heartstrings. It's da 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 da, planet Earth. And you hate being here just as much as I do, but where are you going to go? Maybe a quarter million dollar condo in Vancouver that would be hopefully high enough to dodge the sewer tsunami. Or would you blanket your mind in some banal university learning the math that destroyed 80,000 native languages? A lucky few of you may gain access to some air-conditioned apocalypse bunker long enough for Charlton Heston to remind you that it's people! Monsanto Green is people! <laughs> well, run if you must, you cowards. But I'm staying right here, right smack dab in downtown, grimy, slushy, siren wailing Winnipeg, eating cheap American style breakfast at a Chinese restaurant. It's on Sherbrooke. Sure, <laughs> Trying to decipher what's left of my future by correlating the coffee news horoscope with the stains at the bottom of my cup.